Take a good look at your PET bottle. You know it's recyclable, but what does recyclable really mean? Well, it doesn't happen without you. At home or away, look for the right recycling bin and get your PET bottle's journey started. After you toss your bottle into the bin, it's picked up by your local waste hauler and delivered to an intermediate processor, often a material recovery facility or MRF, where recycled materials are sorted and aggregated and PET is baled. Bales keep on trucking to a PET processor or reclaimer. There, the bales are broken and sorted using an automated process to remove any non-PET materials. The PET is then ground and put through a separation process, often a float sink tank. The denser PET material sinks. It's separated from the floating cap and label material, then cleaned and dried. Clean, recycled PET flake is further processed depending on its intended end market. Where does it go? It may become more highly refined PET pellet for new bottles, or extruded into PET sheet and formed into clamshells, trays, cups, and other thermoformed products. Recycled PET is also spun into fiber for use in carpet, clothing, fiber fill, car interiors, or other materials. Pellet strapping is another common use. So toss your PET bottle in the recycling bin and ensure its destiny is a valued domestic raw material. It might end up in your next water bottle, fleece jacket, or takeout container. Learn more about PET at napcore.com.